Hey, what's up? This is another Space Sharks video, and today we're going to take a look at Jelly Bean on my Galaxy Nexus. There. Now I was joking, of course, um, but these jelly beans are very nice. Um, I've been eating them all week. Enough about that. This is the Galaxy Nexus with a beta build of um, Jelly Bean. As you can see, the lock screen has a bit changed, as you can see. It now it has the camera button on the left, like you used to on an ice cream sandwich, and it got the unlock button on the right. But on the top, there's a new Google thing. I'm going to show you what that is. It's called Google Now. You may or may not heard of it. Uh, the rest is all the same. You can see your uh, clock there. So um, let's take an unlock for that. This is the home screen. Um, it looks all the same, except for the search bar is a bit different as you can see the, um, the search bar has been is a bit transparent you cannot really see that on this one but it's a bit transparent on this one and it has a kind of new search icon the rest um, the rest is all pretty basically the same like ice cream sandwich so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the performance and the internals of what has changed on Jelly Bean. So the first internal I want to talk about is called Project Butter. Well, I actually want to get a butter on here and put it on my phone, but I could not find one. So you have to save me for next time for that. Project Butter is basically um, a smooth improvement from the uh, ice cream sandwich experience. So what it does is actually it does the job like smooth like butter, as you can see here. It's very smooth. And it runs through you, and the the, the trick behind is it, it it predicts what you're going to do next. So whatever you do, like a slide, it makes a very uh, fast calculation of what you're going to do next. Are you going to search? Are you going to go to the gallery settings or any of the home buttons there? Um, that's done by it predicts your next touch, and it applies a CPU boost, like a kind of mini overclock, when you touch it. So it's much more smooth, and it predicts your next thing because. If you slide on whatever device, if it's ice cream or jelly bean, it does the same. But if you do it very fast on ice cream sandwich, it may have a lag, yes or no. Also, when you go into your app drawer, um, so, uh, they had a comparison video on ice cream sandwich and jelly bean, and it showed that it had a little bit of a delay. So that's internal for uh, making it a smoother experience. The next thing what I talk, want to talk about is the notification bar. This is the notification bar, as you can see. Um, let's zoom into that. Anyway, this is my notification bar, and as you can see, I chose. I have two new uh, messages. It shows the um, uh, timer at the top, so it's six o'clock. It's Tuesday, July third. Whatever you can uh, delete all the tabs right there. You can go to the settings menu right there, and what you can do is there's now a two finger gesture where you can actually pull those things up. As you can see, like here, you can pull it down. It also works with screenshots. Uh, but the notification needs to be at the top. So if we're going to make a quick screenshot of my uh, phone right here, so if we take a screenshot, okay. So we now have saving the screenshot, as you can see. And as you can see now, it's the screenshot is captured and it's right there. You can easily uh, share it to Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. You can choose an action, Flipboard, Instagram. You can do it any way you want. And you can also uh, uncollapse it like so, and we'll give you a real preview on the side instead of the whole picture. So the last thing you may notice as a user are widgets. They added a bunch of widgets. No, they didn't add a bunch of widgets, but what it does is there's a new widget um, functionality uh, for a home screen. Some home screens have like you need to re on ice cream sandwich. You needed to rearrange your icons, and then you could actually put the widget in there. What it now does I, here, I got a flipboard widget right here. I touch it, I move over to the other home screen, and as you can see, it does not work. Duh, of course, never works. As you can see, when you when I move up over the gallery and settings application, they scooch over, and they just move. You can also because this is a large widget. It only goes up and down, but if you have like a smaller widget, it will go also left and right, which is pretty cool if you have, you know, you know there is space, but you need to 
rearranged in the right way. So, yeah, and that's also is for the resizing of the widget since it's I can only I cannot resize this. It's a medium flipboard widget. I don't know why, but okay. Um, but the really interesting feature on this one is Google Now. Google Now, you can access that from your lock screen, like I showed you at the beginning of the video, or you can hold up the home button and it shows up the Google logo and go up. So, Google Now, as some of you may notice, I don't want to speak now, that's what I'm going to do next. It, pr it, it, does, it looks at your search history because you're logged into your Google account if you so desire. You don't have to do that. You can uh, uh, say, set your favorite sports team, your town you're in. Uh, it, it looks up your events and it's very um, um, smart. Like you would go to uh, a party and I have a party at 8 o'clock. It begins at 8 o'clock. Then you would set if you are going with public transport or by, by a vehicle. And then it would say, hey, you have set your uh, transport to public transport. You need to leave now. You have two minutes to walk to the bus. You walk two minutes to the bus station. Then the bus leaves in five minutes. Or the bus comes in five minutes. And it takes you 20 minutes to get to the party. So that's really cool. Uh, but the thing is... It also has the enhanced voice shirt. It's not really a Siri competitor, but it's really, um, yeah, for the most, most important things, it tells you, it gives you feedback. So not everything you search will be spoken back to you like Siri does, or, hey, I may, may need to look this up on, on Google or something. So I'm going to show you that now. You can say search or you can say Google. It's a hot word, so I'm going to try that now. Google. See, sometimes it doesn't work, of course. Google, what is the President of the United States? The President of the United States of America is Barack Obama. So for some um, things, well, my sound is totally cracked up. So it does not only do American stuff, it also does um, any other stuff, like the Prime Minister of whatever, let's do my country. Who's the Prime Minister of the Netherlands? The Prime Minister of Netherlands is Mark Rutte. There's our Prime Minister. Some voice commands really work. Um, for example, miles per hour, for example. 250 miles per hour to kilometers per hour. 250 miles per hour is 402.33 kilometers per hour. I think those, like, last four digits you don't need, but... It does the job well. It's like your calculator. If you t would type this in, in Google on your desktop, it would give you the same result, only it doesn't speak back to you. So this is really cool. Google Now, it really is intuitive. I, I'm, you need to work it in for a couple weeks in order to get used to you. But if, for example, the basketball season is over, I'm really a basketball fan and I'm not a fan of the Giants in any way. It's a baseball team, apparently. It does the weather for you and stuff like that and some other related stuff like travel if you search for a flight and stuff like that so i hope you enjoyed this uh, walkthrough of jelly bean it's very cool google now the new functions no i don't want to do that the new uh, google now the new functions are oh, just said the word duh um yeah overall it's very good even with project butter on there it's really smooth, it's really cool. Actually, a couple of developers actually want to already release something that make Google like Project Butter, but Google uh, beat them first. So overall, Jelly Bean is a good 4.1 update. It's not a huge of a step from 2.3 to 4.0 ice cream sandwich, it's just 4.0 to 4.1. It's not to 5.0 or anything. So that's not the problem. So I hope you enjoyed the SpaceX video. This was the overview of the Jelly Bean on the Galaxy Nexus. So again, the jelly bean on the Galaxy Nexus. I've, I thought I'd just eaten this, anyway. Um, and um, rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Do a barrel roll. See ya.